I tend to take more days off in the winter just because uh, it's um, pretty physically demanding as well as mentally. You have to watch out for a lot more things than you would in the summer. Uh, everything's covered by the snow, streetcar tracks, potholes. You have to sort of remember where a lot of things are so you're not going to ride through them because uh, they're covered with snow, you know, cause an accident. It's physically a little harder because, you know, riding through the snow, it kind of it's a little more uh, resistance. You got to pedal a little harder, you're a little tireder at the end of the day. and. Uh, you're just a little more tense because you have to be so much more aware of what's happening because one wrong move, you slip, the next thing you know, you're under a car. Or as opposed to the summer, you can pretty much steer your way out of anything. But in the winter, any sharp turns, you don't know what's under you sometimes and it looks okay, but you never know. And you could go down at any time. Winter's not that bad here in the city in terms of amount of snow and stuff, but it's still nice to see it end. And a lot of it, you just stay warm, just, you know, body, your body work and creates heat. You're, you, you've probably seen that guy around town, like even when it's minus three, he just wears like short sleeves and, and shorts. You know, oh man, don't know how he does it, you know. My old knees would be throbbing like your weenie at a Madonna concert. So, so what do you mean old? What do you mean you're old? What do you mean old knees? Old, then I'm, well, mid forties. And that's, that's pretty old for Curry. I'm not the oldest, but. I'm one of them. Four twenty-three, Andrew. Four twenty-three. Yeah, this one that's in the office here. When are you gonna pick this up? Sure, I'm coming over to get it. Okay. Six oh. Go ahead, John. You should check the box. It's empty. Thirty-five, Stephen. Yeah, I took it yesterday. So you did do this call, right? That is affirmative. There was only one envelope. No need to raise your voice. Oh, uh, I'm not raising my, my voice, I'm just inside. I wanted to make sure you could hear me, sir. Oh, is that what happened? Um, okay, John, I'm gonna page your service search from the office, I guess. Uh, I need to hear you, Chris. Just uh, check the cafeteria, it's bright, you'll find them there. Uh, do you know if he's still on the ride? I have no clue. Uh, I know you don't have a clue, but do you know if he's in the ride? Yeah, it's about, yeah. uh... Before you jump around. Yeah, you gotta you gotta connect because once you connect, you loosen up. You're not tight. The work becomes it's play. You know, you're you're having fun and making money. For example, uh, my dispatcher is a great guy and everything, but sometimes he can get pretty <laughs> pretty tight. I love you, Adam. I love you. And here's what he paged me. Charlie blows goats. I have proof. When I saw that, I thought that was hilarious. You know, this, it's what it's about. It's about having fun. No matter what you do. You know, Ty Domi has fun when he's getting punched out. You can see it in his face. Yeah, brah. You know, I don't know these guys, but you got to talk. You got to talk to them. You got to talk to everybody. It's important. It's a way of breaking down the barriers. Everybody's going to work, huh? I'm late. Well, there's a lot of things to consider when you're planning a run for couriers. You have to take into account where the courier is, where the package is going, how quickly the package needs to get there. There is no norm as far as where couriers go and when they go. I'm at 24. 22, Trevor, place your uh, no 24. Daryl, you did this before. What's the secret with 24 trucks? Generally, a courier who's in the downtown area will make most of his pickups in one area before he moves on to the next. 14. Five. So uh, let's look up at the direct there, uh, work back here. Four. 
generally the packages go in one direction. You won't give a courier packages going, you know, west, north, and south. Everything they pick up will go to one direction. Uh, 35. Hello. Uh, yes, we got the north, the east, the west, all over the city thing happening. Triple uh, three. They got a eight buck direct going up to Dupont. Uh, do that. Sir. Around and doing like a lot of shit or what? All the time. All like the time. what? Like okay, uh, from the core, up to Bloor with one package, pick up two on Bloor, up to St. Clair for one, up to Eglinton for one, drop on Eglinton for one, straight back down to Bloor and back down to the core for like four or five packages. Just like that. He uses, he stands me by, he stands me by, and when he's fucked or something, Oh, Bill, he can get it. He's fast. Just give it to Bill. He'll work it out. He don't care. How do you try to most efficiently dispatch the guys? Then? You minimize the distance between pickups and drop-offs. Is you know, the less time they're they're riding their bike, the more money they're making because they're picking up more things on the way. This company, this company's small. We got, got like six bikers grand total. So it's like, oh wow, lots of easy for him to figure out who's fast and who's not. I am the fastest in this company. <laughs> it's a combination of being like organized for one, right? And just being quick. You don't have to be super incredibly fast, right? Because I mean, there's traffic, there's things that are gonna stop you. It doesn't matter how fast you are, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I can go way faster than I go, but half the time, a minute here, a minute there, it's not gonna make a difference, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I have to, I can like, you know, I can hammer and I'll take some chances I wouldn't normally take, but as a rule, it's not worth it. And I mean, a lot of the guys who you think they look the most like couriers, they're the most useless couriers, you know what I'm saying? But the guys who are really good to make the money, they just go about their business and do their job, right? 19. Uh, Jack? Yeah, 145 King was signed by Glenda. Uh, 36 Toronto is uh, Lynn. Okay. 88, Jeff. Holding three, man, really? Let's uh, take it up. 123 Edwards got a direct just going over to Bond Street there, please. 23 Edwards? That's what I said. 123 Edwards, 510 out. 99. 99. Yeah, uh, Wellington's on. Uh, when I started there, they said if you if you can't get along to the dispatch, you can't work here. Dispatch is always right. Yeah, well, that's the rule. Every every job's got rules, and that's the one here. I can live with it. 389 Tambray, how are you making out? takers just gotten chewed out. This is a half an hour late. Well, why is this call late? There's many reasons why calls can be late, but a lot of times it's like, well, it's late because I didn't want to send the guy there with the one call a lot of times because I'm trying to help the couriers make money. I can keep the courier happy by waiting, 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 making a couple calls of his late, or I can make sure everything's off on time, even if it means burning them in the process. It's, it's, it's out of sight, out of mind. The whole idea behind dispatching a lot of times is, is get it out of the client's face. If it's not sitting on the receptionist's desk, uh, they're not worrying about it anymore. They assume it's en route to be delivered, whether it's in the courier's bag or, or where it is, whether it's being passed off or, or whether it's really not gonna get there. It's, if it's out of the client's face, it's, it's done. <laughs> Good day today. The weather's been nice. I've had one of those days where it's just been crazy right from the point I've left the house. That's the way I like it. I've been up and down to Eglinton twice, but I haven't had much sleep the last few nights, so I have myself an afternoon coffee just to give myself a little boost to make it through the rest of the day. I have an energy bar. With my coffee. And I bought some cashews. Salted cashews. Because I've been I've been sweating a lot today, so. No, you gotta come out. 
cashews have um, have good good energy, good fats in them. Um, Drink lots of coffee on the road. No. No. In fact, I rarely have. I rarely ever have an afternoon coffee when I'm on the road, but. I'm starting to burn out, and I'm going to be going out tonight, so. I forgot to show you these as well. The chocolate-covered espresso beans. They're a real kicker. <laughs>